things you can do when you are saved slash holy. Some people believe that when you start to live for God, that you are not able to have any fun. You can still do the same things that you are doing minus the sin. And if you think about it, sin is not really fun. Overall, yes, having sex before marriage is fun before you get HIV or herpes or get a woman pregnant or something like that. So the sin is fun before the punishment comes. So drinking poison may seem like it is fun until you die from it. So when you first do the sin, it may seem like it is fun, but once the punishment comes, then it is not fun. So sin is not fun because with sin, it carries a punishment. I really hope you understand that. So things you can do when you are a Christian, when you are saved slash holy. Number one, you still can go on dates with the opposite gender without doing anything crazy. Don't sex talk or do anything lustful. Number two, you can still go snowboarding, sledding, ice skating, skateboarding, etc. You can still do those things. Number three, you can go to amusement parks, travel. So, as you can see here, you can still have fun. So whoever says that living for God is not fun, they don't know what they are speaking about. Number four, you can still go to college or any learning institution. Same stuff. Okay. Number five, you can still go to gyms or other workout organizations. Number six, you can hang out with your Christian friends anywhere, as long as the place is acceptable according to the Bible. Stay away from sinful people unless you are ministering to them. Does that make any sense? So, <laughs> you can still have fun. Number seven, listen to music doesn't particularly have to be all Christian. Make sure the music doesn't contradict the Bible. I believe love songs are fine, depending upon the lyrics and intent. Some people may disagree with that. Okay. Jazz is fine as well, country, rock, etc. Now, some people believe that you should only listen to Christian music. I believe that, now, I only listen to Christian music, but I don't think listening to jazz music is wrong or anything that is clean, as long it is not speaking about sex and stuff like that. Okay. Number eight. Play basketball, football, baseball, any sport which doesn't cause you to sin. Refer to the Ten Commandments. So, why do people say that living for God is not fun when you obviously can pretty much do the same things as you are doing now? Minus smoking weed and drinking and stuff like that getting drunk okay number nine let's keep going play board games recreational events things that are acceptable with the Bible okay number ten play musical instruments minus the satanic oriented type play music which don't put the Bible to shame Number 11, play video games, non-demonic games without gore, etc. So you can still play games. Number 12, you can have Christian holy parties or Christian, yes, 
Christian holy parties, no liquor or drugs. Let Jesus be your drug, figuratively speaking. Number 13, or let me read this here. Do you see a trend here? You can basically do anything as long as it is not a sin. So whoever say it is born to be saved slash holy, Christian, true Christian, I am not sure they know completely what they are saying. Satan and his demons want you to think that living holy is boring. Why? So that you can be sent to hell, then join him in the lake of fire. We have to know that a lot of our thoughts are being manipulated by demonic forces. We must battle daily against them. So as you can see here, you can still have fun. So whenever you hear a person say that living for God is not fun, you can correct them now. Because you can still do the same things minus sin. And as I stated earlier, sin is not really fun because with sin, it carries a punishment. So if you could connect the punishment to the sins that you are doing, you will see that, hey, this is not worth it. <laughs> this is not worth it at all. But sometimes it is going to take time for people to get so much in pain until they change. Hey, what can you do? <laughs> So, things you can do when you are saved slash holy, a true Christian, not one of those fake, false Christians, but a true Christian, a person who properly serves God. Okay, God bless.